Hey, David, the Marine. Let me see your war face. Rock, paper, scissors? No, 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 no. Rifle, pistol, shotgun. <laughs> As our good friend President Biden once said, get a double barrel shotgun. But really, what is the best for home defense? It depends. Each one has their advantages and disadvantages. One option is a, is a rifle. In this case, it's a 22, but you could use an AR-15. Those are very good for that. You have to be aware of the overpenetration of the center fire calibers. But uh, this is 22. This was on sale for $100. So for $100, you could have a home defense weapon. Uh, this one holds 10 rounds of 22. One advantage of the rifle is it's easy to hit with. And it's easy to control. What are some disadvantages? Usually it takes two hands to control it. And if you have to open doors or something, that could be a problem. Uh, going through doorways, if this were a wall, and I'm kind of come. Oh. Yeah. You know what I'm you have a, It's not as wieldy as a, a handgun. There's one in every crowd. Ten rounds of 22 doesn't sound like very much. Well, Joe Biden thinks it is, but Joe Biden is protected by people who carry more than 10 rounds in their guns. Come on, give me a break, man. Come on, man, my ass. More rounds, more better. A handgun. It's short, it's maneuverable. You can get in and out, you can open doors, you can carry kids, whatever you need to do. The downside is it's a little bit harder to shoot well. for some people. And being able to shoot it one-handed can be a, a major advantage, if, especially if you're carrying something important. Like your child? Your ammo. And the shotgun. Shotgun. It's heavy. It's long, so it's not gonna be very wieldy inside of a house. It's really difficult to shoot with any accuracy one-handed. Um, this would be a good gun for the safe room where they're coming to you, not when you're going looking for them. And plus, a pump shotgun makes that sound, and that's just cool. Huh, thought I would do more. Well, that's the bird shot. This is the buck shot. Ah, if the situation depended on it, what is best? Well, like I said, the, uh, the shotgun is, is great for the, the safe room where you're, you're watching the door with the shotgun, maybe rest across the bed so you don't have to hold the, the big heavy gun, you know, with your, your muscles holding it up. Uh, perfect place for that. It kicks. Uh, you can make 20 gauge, so it's not going to kick as much. It won't do as much of a job on the bad guy like the, the 12 gauge will, but that comes with a, a price to you because my shoulder hurts now. Uh, I've not fired those rounds before and probably will never again. <laughs> but a, a shotgun is a good viable choice. Uh, a rifle, uh, the 22 rifle that we had, it's 100 bucks. You can't buy any of these things for 100 bucks, but you can get a 22 rifle for the home. And unless you're trained in how to you know, go search through a house, you probably shouldn't be searching through a house, especially with a gun in your hand. So that too would be a good gun to have in the, in the safe room. You know, let them come to you and tell them they better not come through the door. A handgun, if you practice with it and get some hits with it, that is a good all-around choice, you know, because you can open doors and carry things. I, I have in my house, I cannot open this one door if I have any kind of long gun in my hand, unless I hold it up like this, well, now I can't, I'm not ready mm -hmm. for anything, versus I am ready if I can open it with the other hand as I open the door. So, a lot of it is how much money do you have? You got a hundred bucks, you can buy a 22 rifle. Uh, 22, it just piss them off. Well, it'll piss them off right outside your house because yeah. so, they're not going to want to hang around and get hit anymore. They're not going to, well, 22. Oh, wait. They're not going to do that. They're going to take off. Uh, shotgun, uh, those are also fairly cheap. Uh, 300 bucks, uh, a little bit more. A handgun is going to be a good 22, is going to be at least $300 or more. Uh, center fire is more than that. But no matter what gun you get, you need to get practice with it so you know what the heck you're doing. And no matter what gun you pick. And a handgun, quite honestly, is easier to stow by the bedside. It is, yeah. it is. And, um, you, know, hand, you know, quickness is, uh, is good to have in mind. And as always, guns, guns for, for everybody. everybody.